Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video on my channel. So today I had a incredible delivery of Fenty Beauty PR. Can we just rewind? Fenty Beauty PR, what? Like when I received the email about this, you know when you just don't something, think something's real? And I was like, I, I replied and they replied again and then I was like, they're never gonna turn up. Like this is not real. This is just not happening. And it they turned up. So I'm just like, what is going on? Like, how is this real? I'm on Fenty Beauty PR. So I have some products to try from their range, and I thought I would just try them with you guys today. There's everything here I've never tried before. So every single thing except one thing actually is new to me. Um, so let's just jump straight in. My lips are so dry because I did my lip swatches video and they're still really sore. So I'm just going to go through the skincare because obviously I've already done my skincare today but I haven't used these so I will give you some feedback on these when I do use them on Instagram maybe. Um, so I got the Total Cleanser from Fenty Skin. I've never heard much about this. To be honest, Fenty Skin is quite a new area of Fenty for me. Um, I haven't heard too many things about it, but I'm really excited to give this a go. I got this and I've already made it up because it came in like loads of different parts. Um, and it's basically the Instant Reset Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. I love a good overnight cream. And what I thought was unique at first, I was kind of confused. I was like, how does this assemble? Because there's like three components to this. So basically you like have the lid separate, you get the inside the product and then the actual container and you kind of assemble them yourself. And then on one side here, you have a little scraping tool to get the cream out and then you just unscrew obviously the lid to get the product out. So I just love the reusable aspect of this product. Obviously I've not tried this before but I, I'm just really excited to give it a go and give you guys my thoughts. I just love the sustainable forward thinking approach of Fenty and how they're kind of moving more in that direction. It's really good. Um, I did have a quick look at this yesterday because I was kind of like, what is this? I'm so confused. Um, so you get the eye gel, which I just love this really beautiful lilac packaging, by the way. This is so nice. And then I was like, what's in here? If I can get it out. It's an eye like cooling massage, oh, so cold, roller. And I need that. I mean, you can see my eyes get so red and puffy first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna use that today because I don't actually have any eye cream on. So I'm gonna go in and use a little bit. Like, I don't really know what's enough or too much on this. I'm gonna go straight in and just kind of start massaging right underneath my eyes because my eyes, I'm just so tired these days. Hopefully this will help to get rid of some puffiness. It feels amazing actually. <laughs> And then last for skincare, I got this Fenty Beauty Fat Water. I have seen this advertised everywhere. I think the thing that makes this stand out is the name, Fat Water. Um, it's very rememberable. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pore refining toning serum and it's really thick, like a gel. And at first I was a bit confused. I was like, how do I get this product out? Like I couldn't unscrew the cap. I was like, there's no pump. Like I was so confused. Here, there was like a little pull label and I was like, oh, that's kind of strange. Pulled that and inside the top is a little tiny hole. You can unscrew it a tiny bit and um, tip it into your hands or onto a cotton pad and put it on the skin, which I thought was really cool. And then it does seal shut as well. So onto makeup. I got the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Never tried this before. I tried the original Pro Filter. Obviously that's a matte finish, very full coverage. And I got completely matched to the wrong shade when I was in, I think it was, uh, where did I go? I got matched. I'm sure I was in Leeds at the time. So I was in Leeds, got matched completely to the wrong shade. Um, and I was yellow, like when I say yellow, bright freaking yellow. So I only used it a handful of times and the full coverage aspect of it wasn't really for me. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. They asked me my general foundations that I use, what shades I use in them. I gave them those answers and I got matched to the shade 220. That's what they sent me. So I'm gonna see how this works for me. It has a nice pink undertone, which I do have a slight neutral pink undertone in my skin. So it just makes it look a lot, lot more natural on the skin for me. And um, this is meant to be like 
a hero product, not just for the brand, but worldwide. Like people are raving about this foundation. People are going crazy over it. Everybody's asking me to try it. It's just like everywhere. It's every single banner everywhere. Um, so I'm really excited to give this a go. So to apply this, I don't know whether to use a sponge, um, a brush. I, I have no idea what to expect. Not sure what to do. Let me think. <laughs> I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush. I got this off Amazon, but um, I'm gonna use this one today to buff it in. And then I am gonna go over it with a sponge to blend it into the skin a bit more. So let's give this a go. It's a nice pump. Shade looks really good actually for me. Perfect match, they did great with this. Let me get a mirror. It's quite liquidy as well. So that's a good sign for me. Shade's really, really nice. Oh, it smells, um, like makeup? <laughs> I don't know how to explain the fragrance. You know, like MAC has a very typical scent. I feel like this has quite a unique, like signature scent. Fruity and floral kind of. It's like a mix. So off the bat, let me just focus this here. Colour is absolutely perfect, like the best shade for me. I would say for me, this is like a medium coverage. Um, which I'm not mad at at all, like obviously I do prefer a light coverage, but you know, I, I would go to a medium, like my NARS Shea Glow is a medium, so Giorgio Armani is a medium, those kind of foundations I love. Um, and yeah, so far so good in the shade. The finish so far, it is, it's still got a glow, but as soon as I kind of put it on, I do feel it soaks straight into the skin. Um, it's not matte and it's not satin, but it's you can't feel it on the skin, which is really interesting. But I I can't feel anything on the skin. But even up close, it still looks wet. It's very unique. And to be honest, I've just put the tiniest, tiniest amount on. You don't have to put loads on for this foundation to work, like clearly. Half a pump, not even full half a pump on my face there. And it's done quite a bit, it's really nice. So it takes a little bit of, um, not blending, but yeah, you kind of have to just gently buff this out. I can kind of see why everybody raves about it. For the, for the majority of people in the market, for example, I think people would love this. What do you guys think? I actually kind of feel a little bit obsessed with this. And it's a lot more coverage than I ever normally go for. It's sitting on the nose beautifully. I was really worried about that. That was the area I was really concerned about. And it's actually like invisible. You can't actually tell I've got it on. <laughs> you can't tell I'm wearing anything at all on my nose. My skin looks really, really good. So I don't have the concealer. Um, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is go in with my Clinique Even Better Concealer um, and this is in the shade C4. This is just an all-round really good hydrating concealer. It's not like too overstated. It's just going to keep the, the foundation looking like foundation basically, like the way it is. It's not going to change the texture too much, it's just going to cover. Just to kind of pat that in. Okay, so for the rest of my face, now you guys know that I am obsessed with the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. I mean, don't judge me, it's so gross because I use it so many times in the summer. Um, and I have the shade Honey Glaze. Now, Honey Glaze for me, obviously, right now is way too dark, even though um, in summer it's great. Right now it's way too dark and um, I haven't been able to use it, which is a massive shame. So they asked me if there was anything in PR specifically I wanted and I just said a lighter shade of this bronzer so that I can wear it all year round. I do love it. So they sent me it and they sent me the shade Macchiato, which is nice because I think it has a, a bit of warmth, but it also has a little bit of that grey undertone. I think for my skin tone, it's gonna be a really beautiful bronzer. So. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Oh my God, look at this. 
it's quite bright but I wonder if that will come on the cheeks a lot softer I'm kind of looking forward to giving this a go today just to complete the look as a brush I'm going to be taking my Clinique brush this one I'm not sure what the name of this is but this is what it looks like I love it let's just start applying the bronzer yeah, that's such a nice colour for me. It's really natural and I love this bronzer because it's really dewy on the skin. You can obviously go over it with a powder bronzer if you want it a bit more matte, but I love a good dewy bronzer. I like it to really blel blel <laughs> I like it to really melt into my skin. And just on my nose as well. So I'm going to go in now with the cream blusher and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush I'm just going to tap off, oh it's really light in, in um, pigment which is good. I'm just going to pat this like on the tops of my cheeks, just bring that up a little bit, it's really really nice. It's really soft and subtle but that's the kind of blush I love. So I did actually also get sent an eyeshadow palette. Never tried this before either. So this is one of their snap eyeshadows and I got the shade Wine, um, which is 100% my kind of colours. Um, so yeah. And this also, by the way, is number nine. Did I say that? Yeah, wine, number nine. Um, and it's kind of like a palette of really beautiful, um, warm and cool wine tones, which I think is a really nice combination actually for this. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I, again, I've never ever tried any of the eyeshadows from Fenty Beauty before, so I'm really, really interested to see how this looks and performs. I'm going to start by taking the nude shade in the palette just to dust over my full lid. Just as like an even base. And then I'm going to go in with this gorgeous brown like chocolate coffee shade. Gently dust this through the crease. I'm going to dust it quite high up as well, like right above. So just up here. I think the colours are blending really, really well, like really seamlessly. There's no harsh edges, the colour looks quite pigmented but also not too pigmented where it's patchy. It's a really nice consistency so far with the matte shades. I might do a bit of the pink actually as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of this purple, it wasn't what I was originally going to do, but I'm just going to put a little bit of the purple in the outer corner of the eye because this will just help to tie in the pinky purple aspect of it. Just gonna get a little bit of a more detailed brush for this. I find in the purple it's a little bit more difficult to blend out um, but that's probably just because I don't have a primer on either and purples tend to be a little bit more of a challenging formula in general so considering I think it's not bad I'm actually a little bit obsessed with this, looks really really nice and then I'm going to go in with this gorgeous raspberry shade right in the middle I'm going to use my finger first and I'm just going to tap it just right in the centre and onto the outer part of the lid I don't want it too intense, I just want a nice soft bit of cranberry. Oh, I love that guys, that looks gorgeous. This is 100% my kind of palette. I'm going to just take a little bit of that cranberry actually, run that underneath my eyes. I 
I put some mascara on and did a little bit with my eyebrows because I don't have products from Fenty in that area. Um, and I don't think they also have any lip liners or anything, so I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium Lip Liner. Just completely line my lips and then I have one more product from Fenty I'm going to try. So the last product I'm so excited about is this Fenty Gloss Balm. I've never ever tried a gloss balm before. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I mean, look at this colour. So this is in the shade Sweet Mouth. It's just the most beautiful, neutral, pinky, peachy, clear gloss. And these are going to make your lips super juicy, super full looking, pouty. So I'm going to give that a go now. This is the doe foot. Oh, it smells like sweets. It feels amazing. Make your lips look super pouty and full and it smells good. It feels like a balmy oil on the lips. Oh, I love that. It's really, really nice. Oof. Okay, guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this review video. Try new products with me. Um, let me know your favourites down below in the comments and anything that you think I should really try. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.